ओके सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पैरल पैरल एक्सेस थियोरम एंड परपेंडिकुलर एक्सेस थियोरम व्हिच इज बेसिकली रिक्वायर्ड टू चेंज द एक्सिस सपोज वी नो द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्सिया ऑफ अ बॉडी अबाउट वन एक्सिस नाउ यू वांट टू नो द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्सिया ऑफ दैट बॉडी अबाउट अनदर एक्सिस सो फॉर दिस पर्पस दिस टू थ्योरम्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज पैरल एक्सिस थ्योरम एंड अनदर इज परपेंडिकुलर एक्सिस थ्योरम सो एट फर्स्ट लेट अस सी व्हाट इज पैरल एक्सिस थ्योरम सपोज it is a body it is a rigid body so that's why again i have come to blackboard because for 3d figure blackboard is quite good suppose this is a body this is rotating about this axis it is rotating about this axis and we know the moment of inertia of the body about this axis that is say the moment of inertia is i that we know now we want to find its moment of inertia about another axis which is parallel to this axis that means say we want to know the moment of inertia of the body about this axis what will be the moment of inertia of this body when it is rotating so we want to find out at a distance say this distance is d so this axis is parallel to the previous axis but it is at a distance d from the previous axis so the condition is this for parallel axis theorem so if we change the axis parallelly that means this is one axis this is another parallel axis then we can apply this formula that is if the moment of inertia about this axis is i so moment of inertia about this axis say i dash so i dash can be given as so i dash can be given as i plus mass of the body say the mass of this total body is capital m so mass into distance square so i plus m d square so this is actually this describes the parallel axis theorem that means if we know the moment of inertia about one axis if we want to know the moment of inertia about another axis which is parallel to the previous axis then its moment of inertia will be the previous moment of inertia plus mass into this perpendicular distance between these two parallel lines that is the d so i plus mb square so this will give the moment of inertia about this point so this is called parallel axis theorem now perpendicular axis theorem perpendicular axis theorem can be applied for this purpose suppose this is one rigid body so we are showing all this structure as a flat body later during problem section we will discuss this about different types of bodies that means uh, that we generally face in numerical section so for those purposes how we can do but here i am give some example to understand this suppose this is a body now we know the moment of inertia about say this point so say this one is ij z means there are two planes one is x y and another is z so basically we consider the horizontal plane as x y plane and the vertical axis from x y plane is the z plane so that is the z axis so actually it is like this so this is if this is say x so this one is y so this will be z so generally we consider this three dimensional axis axis so there are x y z so if the body is symmetrical about is about it x axis and y axis then we can take two axes like one is along this so this is written as ix and another axis that is perpendicular to this and also symmetrical that divides the body symmetrically and say this axis or this axis is actually iy so this is ix this is iy 
and the perpendicularly that is going from from the cross section point if this axis is perpendicular so we can write ix plus iy is equal to ij so this is there is another formula that ix plus iy is equal to ij so this can be done for a body which is symmetrical about its plane and has two planes of symmetry here we have divided the body in two sectors see one is like this so it is dividing the body in two 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 sectors another is like this so another two sectors so this can be applied in case of say disc circular bodies so a circular body or say a square body so they they are having actually axis two axis of symmetry but for suppose a triangle so we, we will find three axis of symmetry so i am showing you suppose perpendicular axis theorem when you are applying perpendicular axis theorem for a plate suppose this is a square plate so this is a square plate now we know the moment of inertia about this axis say yes we know the moment of inertia about its center that is equal to m l square by 6 so this is the moment of inertia about its center now suppose we want to find out its moment of inertia about any of these axis say so this one is one axis this one is another axis sorry this will pass through this so this one is another axis okay so say this one is ix this one is iy so ix plus iy will be equal to ij so actually this type of square body or say a circular body having two axis of symmetry so if we divide the square as this so we are getting getting to equal portion and if we divide this in this way about this axis then also we are getting to equal portions so that's why it is having two axis of symmetry about its plane so here it will be ix plus iy is equal to ij so the calculation may be like this see here so here you can write ix plus iy is equal to ij now suppose we know ij the value of ij that we already know that that is this is this is equal to ml square by 6 so and here as these two axes are symmet symmetrical so ix will be equal to iy so we can write ix plus iy is equal to either this is equal to 2ix or you can write this is equal to 2iy because ix is equal to iy both are same so this is equal to ij that is ml square by 6 so what will be the value of ix or iy so ix or iy both are equal to ml square by 12 so in this way about one of its axis we can find its moment of inertia that means when this suppose uh, square if we want to rotate this square about one of its axis passing through suppose this is the square this is a square now we want to find out that what will be its moment of inertia if we rotate this square plate about an axis which is passing through like this so this is actually one of the axis which is in the plane of the Uh, square so this is actually ix or say iy whatever so this is ix and this one axis is iy this is say ix this is iy and the axis which is coming toward me so this is actually ij so we know ij that means about this axis we know its moment of inertia that is equal to ml square by 6 that we have already learned now we want to find out suppose this is not the axis now our rotational axis is this we want to rotate it about this axis so what will be its moment of inertia so now its moment of inertia will be ml square by 
or say if you want to rotate it about this axis this axis so what will be its moment of inertia now we want to rotate it about this axis as like this so what will be its moment of inertia so moment of inertia will be ml square by 2l so we can do this by dividing the plane according to its axis of symmetry now in spite of taking suppose we have taken two axes like this now we can take it also in this way a square plane is also symmetrical about its di diagonal so we can take two axes which are passing through its diagonal so no problem they will be same so suppose this is a square plane so instead of taking ix along this direction and iy along this direction about the midpoint of this uh, square we can take it along its diagonal suppose this is one of its diagonal and this is another diagonal so also a diagonal of a square also divide the square in two equal parts so this is called axis of symmetry so that's why we can take suppose this is my ix and this is my ry and this axis is i so no problem because the calculation will be same as we have done already that ix plus iy is equal to ij and from this here also ix is equal to there will be iy because both are dividing the square plate into equal parts so that's why 2ix plus 2iy is equal to ml square by 6 because we know ij so by this way we can find what will be its value of ix or what will be the value of iy that means about any one of the diagonal so if you want if you want to rotate a square plate about one of its diagonal suppose now we are rotating about this point don't consider this axis just consider this so now its moment of inertia will be ml square by 6 as we have learned now suppose we want to rotate it not about this axis but we want to rotate it about an axis passing through this so this is a square plate now we want to rotate it want to make it rotate about this axis so it will rotate like this so we want to make it rotate like this so now its moment of inertia will be ml square by 12 okay so this is the use of perpendicular axis theorem and in case of suppose if this 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 is not a square suppose this is a triangle then we have to take three axes of symmetry for example suppose this is a triangular plate of say like this now consider this is a triangular plate so this is a triangular plate now we know the moment of inertia about its centroid consider this is an equilateral triangle so now in this case we will get three axes of symmetry so one is passing through this one vertices that is one of its median another is this median another is passing through another part another vertex that is say another median so here we are getting three axes of symmetry say this is i1 this one is i1 and this is i2 and this one is i3 that means in the plane of the in the plane of the plate we are getting three axes of symmetry so in case of triangle we can write i1 plus i2 plus i3 is equal to ij so this is actually ij j d is not in the plane of x y this is in the plane of this is in the this is actually perpendicular to the plane of x y so in x y plane we are getting three axes of symmetry so that's why we have to take here i1 plus i2 plus i3 i1 plus i2 plus i3 is equal to i j now i1 will be equal to i2 and i2 will be equal to i3 so all are same that then we can write this is equal to 3 i1 or say 3 i2 or 3 i2 or 3 i3 so this is equal to i z 
सो द वैल्यू ऑफ आई वन और आई टू और आई थ्री दिस विल बी आई जेड वॉट एवर आई जेड इज वाई थ्री सो वैल्यू ऑफ एनी ऑफ द आई वन आई टू और आई थ्री विल बी आई जेड बाई थ्री बिकॉज इट इज हैविंग थ्री एक्सेस ऑफ सिमेट्री बिकॉज इट इज ए ट्रैंगल सिमिलरली यू कैन से इफ इट इज सपोज ए सपोज दिस इज ए हेक्सागो सो जस्ट यू ट्राई टू डू इट योर सेल्फ एंड टेल मी सपोज दिस इज ए हेक्सागन ए प्लेट एंड हैविंग सेप ऑफ ए हेक्सागन देन हाउ मेनी एक्सेस ऑफ सिमेट्री विल यू गेट along its plane so like i1 i2 i3 i4 like this is equal to ij okay so you just try to do this at your home and tell me what you are getting okay